In this video, I will show you how to use Google Data Studio templates and how to create a copy of your reports correctly. So I am on portrait and if you follow us, you will notice that we have a very good library of Google Data Studio reports that according to me, they are the best ones. So I will download this one. I will choose my email and I will continue with my data portrait metrics and get the template. Then I will go to a thank you page. On the thank you page, you will see that we offer a setup guide for every report so you don't get lost. But for this time, I will go directly to a template. So open template. Once we are on the template, we'll go to use template because that's the only option you have. And now you will see the original data source. In this case, it is our connector and the new data source will be the same connector. What you will do or what you can do is go into this drop down and choose the Facebook ads account that you have already connected. It can be Facebook or Google Analytics or YouTube or whatever data source. And if you haven't connected it before, you will go to connect it to create a new data source. And it is the same process as if you created a new data source from zero. For this time, I will use the same connector, the Facebook ads connector from Porter, and I will copy this report. So I have already created a copy of this report, but I don't know if this is the Facebook ad account I would like to use. So how can we manage that account? It is super simple. I will go to resource and then I will manage other data sources. So here is the connector I am using. I will go to edit and then I will go to edit connection, which will appear right here. Let's wait some seconds. And here we have, then go to edit connection and you will change the Facebook ad account you would like to choose. So instead of Porter, I would like to visualize this one and that's it because all the setups are correct. And then I will go to reconnect. And once I click on reconnect, I will see two things, the new fields and missing fields. What this is about? Well, as I changed my original data source, I am not bringing any more some custom conversions from the past account, but I am I'm bringing many more custom conversions from the new account I am connecting. So I go to apply and then I will click on done and close. And as you can see, in a matter of seconds, we changed the Facebook ad account we wanted to visualize so you can easily implement all your reports. Let's say you're an agency and you would like to create a copy of this report for other accounts. I will go to view. And the only thing that you need to do is going to this icon, the copy icon and do the same process. In this case, the original data source shows as Facebook ads. It was unknown. It refreshed and I will do the same process. I will copy a report and you can repeat this process again and again to create copies of your reports and to change the data you want to visualize. In this case for Facebook ads, it is selecting the Facebook ad account you would like to report on. I want to thank you for making it to this point. I hope that you know at least a little bit more of Data Studio. And with these videos, you already know how to automate your marketing reporting with Data Studio and Portrait Metrics. See you in other videos.